I'm designing a fireworks display this year, and since I use SolidWorks to design everything else, I wanted to see what it could do with fireworks to create a big finale to really wow the kids. Now you can design anything in SolidWorks. I've already designed and built playgrounds, furniture, analyzed how beer cools down, so fireworks seems like the next logical step. Artillery fireworks are not all that complicated. It's just a ball in a tube, has a charge to shoot it up, another delayed charge to create the burst and distribute the stars. I'm going to buy some tubes and shells and set up an aerial display. Now let's treat this as a particle study and use flow simulation to simulate the effect. I'll start out simple with a model of a tube sitting on the ground. I'll set up the flow simulation study to be outside using a simple wizard. I just need to set my units, turn on gravity, add some air and a decent breeze, and the environment setup is done. Flow makes this setup easy. To test the launch, I'll create a particle study for a two-inch shell. Defining a particle study uses a similar wizard-style interface. I need to choose where the shell is coming from, set the shell diameter, choose a material to set the density, and the initial velocity I found from the manufacturer. On a windy day, the shell goes straight up and then starts to get pushed sideways by the wind. Looks like we get a side motion of about 12 feet in 20 mile per hour wind at a height of a couple hundred feet. So from this one environment setup, I can easily shoot any size or velocity of shell I want without rerunning the entire study. So this two inch shell is pretty basic. So how would it compare with the big stuff the pros use? It can be hard to compare when they aren't side by side, but running several sizes from two inches to 12 inches shows a pretty major difference in height. And from the burst diameter, it's pretty clear just how much bigger and higher they are. Now that I know where my shell will be, I'll build a simple two inch sphere to represent the shell. I just need to add an outward velocity with a particle study to see where the stars will go. I'll use time on the trajectory plot to simulate a burnout of the particles and hide them after a couple of seconds. I'll change the color chart to make it look like the actual effect. And there we go. Now that I know how to do one shell, Let's design my big effect with several shells. The plan is to arrange several tubes in a pattern, join the fuses together, and then light them all at the same time. I'll add an angle to the tubes on the outside and check the trajectory to make sure it isn't so steep it's going to hit my neighbor's house before it explodes. So the final result should look something like this. You can design anything in SolidWorks, from fireworks and tree houses to industrial equipment or vehicles. If you use SOLIDWORKS and you struggle to answer the inevitable question, what do you do for work? Feel free to share this video and say, well, it's like this minus the explosions. Whoa! Whoa! Let's do it again. You want to do it again? Mm -hmm. Was that fun? Yeah. Was it loud? 